What's up? Hey, What's up, Morgan. Craig? How's it going? Aaron, how are you? Hey. So this is uh, Craig Brewer. We're here uh, cutting on $5 cover. I was just telling them about how we uh, originally kind of met through Andy Memphis. So it was some our, our basic yeah. ties. Yep, yep. You remember saw your that? saw your short yeah. on uh, Beale Street upstairs. Remember the the club downstairs started playing their music really loud really loud and, and uh, was young and angry and right, mad about right, it. Right, right. <laughs> well, that's what being young and angry is about. You know, you get to be a passionate filmmaker. One of my first introductions, really, to the local film community. Period, um, was Studio in the Square. You know, it was the ribbon cutting ceremony. Everybody was there, and we were just hanging out and a big deal. But then. I met these two guys. One of them said something to me like, so what's your part in all this? I just said, oh, I don't know. I've just come here. I like to watch films and I'm about to go to film school. He's like, you're about to go to film school. If you don't mind me asking how much you're going to spend. I was like, I don't know. I think it's like seven, $8,000 a year. And he was like, dude, if you give me that money, I'll make you 20 films. And that was Mike McCarthy. And he then introduced me to Craig Brewer. I left to go to film school the following weekend. Went to film school. I didn't actually get the money that I needed to go came back, started learning how to make films and all that. And we were just making these experimental films. And they literally started from experiment one. We just named them, each one we make. And, and the first uh, 13 were unedited because we didn't have the computer. So it was literally one through 13. And then uh, starting with experiment 14, uh, it's the first one we edited. 14 through 18 or something, we submitted them all to Indie Memphis. Two of them got in. And uh, it was really exciting. We were like, wow, that's pretty cool. We were sure, we kind of had this really cocky uh, sort of we're rogue uh, artists, you know, attitude that, you know, they wouldn't show our films. They're too weird and experimental. And, but they did. They screened them. I, I didn't know what to expect. I mean, I certainly didn't expect to have a lot of fans after that or anything. But the one person that walked up to me right when it was done, hey, man, what's going on? I just want to let you know I really, really like your stuff. I'm a huge, I'm your biggest fan. I, lo I love your work. And it was Craig Brewer. You know, thinking back on it, this guy that had no reason to just come up to me, you know, um, and just immediately introduce himself and say that he really appreciated the work. It really meant a lot to me at the time. I mean, it was a huge, like, okay, cool, somebody really liked it. To be honest, it was a real, it was a really defining moment for me just to uh, have this first initial screening and then um, have that experience of saying, someone saying, I appreciate your work other than our friends. So that was my first Andy Methods experience. Uh, the first time I went to Indy Memphis, it was um, out of the Memphis College of Art, and uh, it was one of the, I think it was the second year of, of being around. It was back when, when nobody really called it Indy Memphis. It, 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 it kind of morphed into it, into the name Indy Memphis because everybody started calling it that. But uh, yeah, I remember uh, I saw, um, I think I saw a Mike McCarthy movie there, Teenage Tupelo. <laughs> Um, I think I saw uh, Big Muddy and about like there was only about four films that played at the at the first one but then it began to grow and grow and uh, then my first movie that I made called The Poor and Hungry played at the Brooks which was still like the Indie Memphis screening of my movie is still the best screening that I've had in my career like and so for me you know having like the two years before seeing everybody kind of putting up their movies up at Indie Memphis that was like okay, well, I got to unveil my first movie. And it was a huge sellout, and it was a great crowd response. And, and, uh, and then when, when I won that award, it was like the biggest thing I'd ever, I'd ever done. And so it was, it's, a, it's a very important festival to me. Uh, and then in 2003, I screened for Blue Citrus Hearts. And uh, we won Best Feature Film won that and that was extremely exciting and that was my first time to ever win an award so once again Indie Memphis uh, had this great experience of you know yeah it helps give those films recognition you know it helps uh, get them off the ground and really has nurtured that uh, the projects that this community has created in a way that is really wouldn't be possible otherwise I don't think. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, I want you to know I did not approve this uh -oh. shoot and I do not want you in my house. <laughs>